So, I thought I would do a YouTube video dedicated to tips on playing purely solo, with no accompaniment whatsoever. The sort of thing you would do if you were trying a guitar in a guitar shop and you wanted to impress the people at the till. I wouldn't do that, of course. I wouldn't be so shallow. Or the sort of thing that I'll do when Anderton's TV YouTube channel phones me up and says, Paul, we'd like you to come down and demo some gear for us. We've got the new Marshall, the new Fender, whatever. Yeah, that sort of stuff. And when I'm talking about solo guitar, I don't mean this. That, not that. That's not my bag at all. I'm talking bluesy lines, using the notes in the scale to suggest the chords, or even grabbing chords, or even using great keys like A, D, E and G to have little open strings droning as you're playing. That sort of stuff. Now, what's great about this is it covers many levels. So whether you're Guthrie Govan at one extreme, or whether you've, you're just coming out the basics and moving into intermediate, there's still hours of fun to be had. In fact, I'm going to do a really simplified version in a minute where I take out all my fluff and just do a really back to basics version with far less vocabulary and you'll see you still get an enjoyable effect. But it really teaches you to be thoughtful and especially clean with your playing because you can't have extraneous notes popping out the guitar because you're so exposed, you're just on your own. So it really forces a discipline and encourages things that you've never really thought about, like the damping and how, which parts of your body and hand and fingers can you put on the strings to stop that happening. Um, now let's do a quick walkthrough of what I did in the intro, but I'm going to make two assumptions first. First being that you know that all the chords you play can be played in more than one position up the neck. So your A position, your E position, your C position, and repeat. And again, the same with any scales you may have learned that run out of the A position, the E position, the C position, and repeat. Assumption number two, let's speak the same language. Let's call this the one chord, the four chord, the five chord, and I may talk about a relative minor. So I like to grab a chord so the listener's ears can get accustomed to what key we're in, then a wee embellishment. And a wiggle and a funny face. With a bit of dynamic playing. That's important, there's me at the four chord. So again, the ears are coming with me on that. Embellishment. Another little embellishment. Then the five chord. Down to the four. Then another little embellishment. Back to the one. Then the turnaround. Again, love grabbing these chords so the audience is with me. We're on the four chord, then a little embellishment. Back in the one chord, then a little embellishment. call this one, I'm going to go two frets above the one chord. If any music out there can tell me what this is called in relationship terms, here we go. And that wee bit sparkle there's me back at the five. Back to the one. With an open A string plucked in the turnaround. With an open D string plucked. So now the same thing, only much simplified and stripped out, but all the principles are the same and so is the fun level, right? 
So again, I set the scene to get the human ear on board. Still sticking in the key of A, there's the one chord. Up to the four chord. Back down to the one chord. And since the five chord is an E, I'm going to draw on the open E now. Or if I couldn't do double bends. back to the one chord. The E string still droning by the way, now I'm bringing in the one chord's open string. And now I'm going to be a bit of a smart aleck here with an open A and G string which is an A7. And up to the four chord with the open D string droning away nicely. Open D is still droning away. Hours of fun, whatever level you're at, and you're if you're really young and your mum's walking past your bedroom, you're sounding really good today, son. Ah, it's just really musical sounding better than that stay away heaven thing you were playing. So yeah, it's something to think about anyway. So I hope you got something out of that video, and I'm going to play you out now with a couple of different ideas on the same theme. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.